uh, going into this game, what was your mind? What was your expectation looking at the San Ferros of Egypt and their experience that they have? Going to this match, we think we are not going to get easy. We know them. We played them before. We know them. And more than six years, we never play any big soccer, as you know. Just one month to two months, we prepare the team to them. So we know we are going to get a tough game. But we prepare to definitely we have to win at all costs. Definitely you have to win at all costs. But let me ask you, it could see that getting into the game, you lost concentrations along the way, and you have to come back by psyching up your players. What was the strategy? The strategy is, you see, we are using only two people to play. The remaining people, they, don't, they never played big soccer before. This is their time to play. So we have to allow them to come two minutes later when these people rest more than they come in. That's our strategy. Okay, now that you've won the first leg of this encounter, uh, going into the second leg, what is going to be your preparation and what is going to be your game plan as you go into Cairo? We have two wins to go. We have two wins to go there. So we are going to prepare. Number nine, we are in G under GFE. We are going straight to Pampan to prepare for them. We are going there to meet them foot to foot. We are not afraid of them. We never beat them before. This is our first time to beat them. So they were also surprised. Now the pleasure will be on them. It's not us. Thank you very much, Coach. Now we'll be joined by the captain himself, Sema, who played his football with Sunset Sport. How was the game? What was your mindset? What was your preparation going into this game? Uh, I mean, see, we prepared very well. But going into this game, uh, we thought we were going to beat them easy. So they prepared too. Oh, they prepared too. So it's a very tough game for us. But by his grace, we won. Okay, going to uh, Egypt, what is your expectation? Oh, I may tell the Ghanaians that they should expect to win from us. We are going to qualify. Whether that hook or crook, they should believe us. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I could see you were looking so furious in the game there. What, what's the problem? If you talk technically, we are the we are the best, okay? But our three help it the, the Ghanaian team. But it's not the end. We have a match in Egypt. We gotta win it. Okay, so coming to Ghana, what was the expectation of the Black Sharks and how do you see the game? We for respect to the Ghanaian team, okay? It's not our the problem is not it's not with them, with the referees. We know that the Ghanaian team is very, very strong team. We played against them in Nigeria and we win uh, we won four uh, five four. So it's not the end again and we, we have a final match in Egypt. We gotta win it. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. So that was the head coach of the Egyptian national team and he was having to blame uh, the the referees in this game. I have with me the veteran footballer Yusuf Jibsa. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, how do you see the whole tournament? Uh, well, fantastic. As we said earlier on, um, we were hoping to win and we've won. That is the most important thing. But at least we've seen signs of, uh, of good players here. That tells us that we shouldn't um, take the second encounter for granted. We really have to prepare very well. Go there and make sure we seal the qualification. But looking at Ghana be soccer and where it has got into, what do you make of it? Uh, well, uh, we need to give credit, a lot of credit to, to, to the founder, Yawa Pofankra, and all the executives that have made this uh, possible to this stage, and the FA as well. I mean, uh, the sport is under, under the FA now. We need to take this sport really, really serious because it could create the mileage equal to what we're getting from, from football. So we really have to take this sport very, very serious. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, we are proud to be part of the, um, the whole achievement. We are proud to have sponsored the B Soccer, brought it up from scratch, from scratch all these years. 
and um, next year will be 10 years of our sponsorship with our partnership with uh, Ghana Beach Soccer. And we are excited to know that um, we hope that next year will come with better achievements, better opportunities for both the Ghana Beach Soccer and then for Cow Bank as well. We see, we see a better, we see, we see they have matured and they have grown over these years since inception and we think there's more room for improvement the sky is just a, a launching pad i'm happy yeah i'm happy it's been difficult it's been tough but we need to give thanks to god for the victory we've maintained our unbeaten record here we've beaten uganda kenya and now egypt but egypt you saw what they did they're a very good side very classy very experienced technically very good they wanted to get a draw or a win you saw the way they were playing if the match had gone on for 30 minutes, I'm sure we would have been scoring back and forth. But let me take this opportunity, if you don't mind, to say a big thank you to IMAX Media, the CEO, Max Otechi, and um, all the executives, the management, making it possible for us to show this match, not just in Ghana, but across Africa and also beyond. So, beach soccer is being sold. We need to say a big thank you to Laboma, to the Ghana Football Association, and also to Ghana Tourism. They managed to secure the La Palm Beach Hotel for the players to spend one night, which was a motivator. So a big thanks to everybody who's helped the boys to get to this point. Thank you. Uh, well, before you go, let me ask you this. The team is traveling all the way to Cairo. What is the expectation? We have a fortnight to prepare. We know what happens in North Africa. We're going to go all out again. You know, people doubted us in this game because Egypt our second in Africa. People doubted that we could manage them, but here we are. We've been able to beat them, and we have to go to Egypt, Alexandria, and believe that we can win, and we can win. 